you share with us uh, the key points of your speech, the main key point, you know, like what will you address? Well, I think we're here to talk about what is going to happen to the LNG market over the next three to five to ten years, given all the turmoil we've gone through in the aftermath of the pandemic and now in the middle of the Ukraine crisis. What is your personal forecast in the current, uh, in the lighting of the current events and with the bank crisis, the war that is continuing, can we, should we be optimistic or? Well, I think that depends on your perspective, whether you're optimistic or not. If you're a ship owner or you're somebody who's selling LNG right now, this is a very, very strong market, obviously. How long it will last is a big question and how well it will look well into the future, given that the environmental pressures on all hydrocarbons have not gone away, is also another question. And uh, what is uh, the key factors that we have to notice to see a brighter future, you know, in the next you know, couple of years? Well, to see a brighter future, that would be hard to imagine. To see uh, a longer future for LNG, I think, would be an ongoing crisis in Ukraine that does not resolve readily, which keeps Russia out of the European gas market for an extended period of time. And also this continued focus on energy security above a lot of other considerations that have come to the forefront in the last, you know, up till Ukraine happened.